New at six, adapting state law to keep dangerous new drugs off store shelves. One local legislator is drafting a bill that would ban manufacturers from making bath salts and synthetic marijuana. He says these drugs have recently become a real problem for police and in emergency rooms. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live in our newsroom now with new details. Susan, we checked with local hospitals and we've learned since August about 40 people have gone to the emergency room under the influence of bath salts and synthetic marijuana. State Representative Joseph McNamara tells me that's why he wants to make the products illegal. The products are legal and kids are using them to get high. Now State Representative Joseph McNamara wants to ban synthetic marijuana and bath salts in Rhode Island. As a uh, former school administrator, I saw firsthand uh, not only the students that were using it, but some of the horrific effects. Federal law already makes similar products illegal, but because that law spells out specific chemicals that make them illegal, manufacturers have slightly altered the product's makeup to keep them on the market. Representative McNamara explained to Eyewitness News how his proposed legislation would close that loophole on the state level. What we're saying is you can alter a substance, make some small molecular changes, but if it is substantially similar to a banned substance and the effect of that altered substance is substantially similar to the banned substance, then we don't want it in our shelves, we don't want it in our stores, and we won't, don't want our children to have access to it. The legislation will be introduced in January. If it's passed and signed into law, Representative McNamara tells me it will go into effect immediately. Live in the newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.